Hello, my name is Theresa Brett and I am delighted to be involved in the Helbling Shakespeare series with Deborah Ellis and Helbling Languages. In my 22 years of teaching English as a foreign language, it has always been my aim to develop ways of using drama in the secondary school classroom, particularly with the teaching of English literature. It will be my pleasure to share with you some of my own Shakespeare adaptations ideas and techniques in the hope that you will go and experiment with these Shakespeare ideas in your own classroom. Two households. Dignity. Dignity. In fair Verona, where we lay our sin. From an ancient grudge. Hate. Hate. Break to new mutiny. Hate. Where civil blood. Blood. Makes several hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes. Close. A pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Some students need a kickstart to their imagination. And by using visual images and creating atmosphere, you can take flat black and white words off a page and make it into something living, something that can spark their imaginations. Nettles. Daisies. and long purples. The liberal shepherds give a grosser name. But our cold maids do dead men's fingers cool them. There, on the pendant boughs, her crony tweeds clambering to hang. An envious liver broke when down her witty trophies and herself fell in the weeping brook. Finally, and most importantly, can we always remember that Shakespeare plays were not written to be studied. They were written to be seen and even more importantly, heard. They were written for actors to perform, for an audience to react to. Shakespeare wrote these plays for a London public in Elizabethan times and the early Jacobean period, and he wrote using the conventions of theatre of that time. But despite all this, his genius is in the fact that he is timeless. <laughs> 